Austin, Texas, the middle class famous store is coming to town. We're going to be at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival this week, April 22nd. We're doing our stand-up show and playing AYG with the crowd, and we're doing a live Ooh. podcast. You can either get badges or you can get tickies. Come see us. Let's party. We're also going to be in Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Chicago. Chicago. Rosemont. Second show at it in Chicago. L- only late show tickets left in Chicago. Get those tickets Woo! now. It's a party. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Garbage. Trash. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Dave Trolley, coming at you on a gorgeous day down here at Aunt Tony's basement. She almost got caught stealing at the Wawa again. What? Yeah, there's a half a turkey hoagie upstairs if you want it, because <laughs> I can't have them. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. Check out the Patreon. <laughs> it's a family episode Ooh, right here, gang. Circle the wagons is the hanging big man out. Likes to Me, say. Kippy, and my coal store are still hanging on for dear life. Thing won't quit. I think got aggravated since the Whoa. last time I seen him. Like, <laughs> Yikes! He got into a bar fight I this know. weekend. What, he not getting? He wake up on the wrong side of the bed or something? <laughs> not getting a full eight? What's happening? I thought I was going to cruise through on this one, but it fucking blew up on me. Now it's scabbing the whole nine yards. It's tough, man. What are you going to do? The kid gets laid. I don't know what to tell you. Give it up for KJ, everybody. <laughs> okay, that was a quick transition. Talking about your herpes, introducing your best friend seamlessly. I like Folks, it. he's got a head like a football. Give it up for <laughs> Talking him. Talking about my herpes. And I like oh. Kev, by the way. Okay. What's up, Kev? No, you can't do that. No, Kev? No. You, you I'm just saying. I can't do that. What do you mean I can't that do doesn't, that? You've never done it in 10 years. Oh, I wouldn't call you Kev. That's your new nickname, Kev. I don't call you KJ in our personal life either. You're like Kev, that. okay? No, I don't like well, I'm taking KJ back then. <laughs> what? Yep, KJ's All right. back. All right. Toby, you're uh, KJ from now on. <laughs> hey, gang, thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Trader up. Cooking. Cooking. Cooking over there. Then, I have to contractually say, check out the greatest website of all time, www. <sighs> www.patreon.com. Are you garbage? You can sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG every week. If you're on a $10 level, which is above and beyond the most popular level by yes. like six times. Bananas. Um, We're this close to being able to buy our way out of anything. You get on the so hard. Please keep it going. You get the hard feelings over there, which is like a nitty gritty HR session. We really, you know, really take the gloves off and let it fly. We're not fans of each other. No. Not on that show, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> or in real life. Uh, and then we'll do live streams with our top tier uh, So patrons. much fun. Check it out. Uh, it's a good time. Support the pod. Love yous. Come do a live show also. Come see us. Yeah. Fucking out. When does this come out? Tomorrow night, we're going to be in Austin. If you're listening to this. Look the, at that. The night it comes out, we're going to be in Austin Friday night. Tejas. Tejas. Moon Tower Comedy Festival doing our show. Some stand-up. Some AYG with the crowd. It's going to be a good time. Get that thing. Yeah, it's a good time. Quick stop at Bucky's too. Walk around. See what's going on. You're on a tight diet. Tight, tight diet. Check out the Patreon for more. Can't wait to hear how that's going. I'll be laying down some ground rules on the next uh, Hard Feelings. Just so you know. Okay. Taking the control back, putting it in my power. I'll be having my meals alone. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Fine. So when you would fight a little harder on that, but fair enough. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. One of my best pals in the whole wide world, and I love him. I don't care how long his hair is. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? Hey, pal. Yo, so to avoid any Airbnb kerfuffles down in Tejas, I have decided to find my own lodging. I will be staying in a Bucky's. Not bad. Because <laughs> they got everything they there, got man. everything. <laughs> I get, got your, get yourself a smoker, a grill, some deer pellets. I'm going to set a tent up in the jerky aisle, dude. <laughs> I don't hate it. We should camp out. Why don't we camp out? What? Camp out as friends. That yeah, way there's no I temptation. Want I want to get locked out of a tent at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I need. Thought you were a bear, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you bear spray me. <laughs> it's me, you motherfucker. I thought it was a bald bear. I don't know. Kitty, what are you doing sneaking up on me like that? Holy cow. Family episode. What's cooking with you? 
Poorly timed sip there. Uh, <laughs> I saw you were going to throw it to me real quick, and I was already I had already made the decision to take a little nip. Got hands of gold over I got there. Some, okay. I, got some, I got some JMO in here. <laughs> take off the edge. Do you, a little Whoa, nippy whippy? Hey, I'm driving out of here. When's the last time you drank in the morning? Uh, Saturday. That would Really? <laughs> yeah, we, I went golfing. Oh, that doesn't count. Golf. <laughs> I will tell the cop to pull me over. <laughs> I got you. Got to talk to a judge in Dennisville Township. Man. I shoot eighteen over now. This you prick. Eighteen over. I wish, <laughs> S- sir. I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. Is that a three wood? You're good. <laughs> <laughs> just show him. Just show him a tee. <laughs> Your Honor. I was gu- sure it was mini golf, but still. <laughs> Could have get in that damn clown's mouth. Why are your balls purple? <laughs> what? Because of. <laughs> The golf balls at mini golf, they're not white. They're yeah. like different colors. Do you remember the golf balls? You would go some places and they would float in the water. <laughs> no. You don't remember that? There was like water where like, remember, because most mini golf places had the brick where it wouldn't go in the water. Like it would, there was some. Oh, oh okay. I got you. I got you. There was some that didn't have a barrier to the water. Yeah. To make it harder. You're screwed. But it would, it was like running water or whatever, like down a hill, like a fountain type thing. Uh huh. And it would float and you would have to like pick it back up and play from the beginning. Oh, wow. yeah. That sounds like alien technology. That's crazy. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> That's what blows your mind. I've never seen a golf ball that floats. Why don't they all float? What are we doing? What? Why don't they all float? Because it's changed the weight, the size, everything. Can't use it on the tour. Why not? What? If everybody uses it. Okay. Well, just switch to tennis balls or something. All right. So the gators don't get you. What? There's alligators on golf courses. So why would that Dumbass. stop? How would that stop if the fucking ball floats? So you wouldn't have to go swimming there to get it. You You're just... not swimming in to get the ball anyway. I've seen the guys <laughs> go in and get it. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, they're looking for a win. <laughs> I don't think it didn't touch the ground. It's still alive. This ain't fucking tin cup, okay? <laughs> Great movie, by the way. Hey, he's on the like, links with a rake. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Louisville throwing it up, fucking cranking it. Hmm. Um. What can I do for you? Where were we? Um. I did something pretty trashy this weekend that I was like a little bit ashamed of. Um. Uh. Or street clothes at a golf course. No, but. I Ran was, over a caddy. I was going to say this was hard feelings, but I had to buy a whole golf outfit at Dick's the night before. Because you're a pork chop. What do you, what's that mean? You tried your stuff on and it didn't fit. No, I didn't have any. I thought I, I, we, we got real jammed up when we left the studio the other day. I had to sit in traffic. <laughs> you got a baseball uniform on? <laughs> That's all they had. Like an old school stirrup my, song. My butt's all big. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're in full catcher skier, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm throwing it down the fairway. Did you, did you buy? He's an, out. Did you buy a nice pair of golf pants and a nice golf shirt? Yeah. Well, really? I stopped just to buy. What'd you go, Eagles? What'd you get? Did you get the Did you get the real puffy pants no, like an old timey director? Not a jerk off, but they are a little flared at the bottom. They all have a little Bee Gees vibe to them. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking around looking like a fucking jerk off. Hey, give it up for night fever, huh? This kid got I moonwalk in. <laughs> I moonwalk to the first tee box, ladies. <laughs> How are the greens today? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I've never noticed that. Bell bottom golf no, pants. No, they're not bell they're not bell bottom, dude. Stop thinking everything's so literal. You're walking around idiot. like a sailor in the seventies. <laughs> they they just had a little they were everything was like kind of snow panty a little bit if you catch them. They were wide legs. What's they happening? What's happening, in. cool cats and hip daddies? <laughs> they definitely didn't taper in. Put the jive turkey down for a par four, huh? My man. <laughs> I was going to save this for hard feelings, but <laughs> collar that wide, he can't miss. <laughs> I got the big, I got the shirt collar outside my jacket collar. <laughs> ah, 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 going for bogey, going for bogey. <laughs> my card has a disco ball. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Confess your sins, my son. Wait, are we still in dicks or what? 
<laughs> we're outside of Studio 54. I'm <laughs> doing key bumps. My, my jaw's all over the place. <laughs> Fucking Larry Lude's over here. What is that, 130, 135? <laughs> Where's that cart girl? comes the heat, man. Quit hassling me. Oh, God, that's funny. No, so I was down the shore, mm -hmm. and like I had stated, I got an Airbnb right? for me, my wife, and my newborn son. Ah. My four Young Hansi. Son, young Hansi. Um, for the new pooch, uh, just because my fucking mom's house is packed, she's not the biggest fan of dogs. Mm. So um, I'm slowly breaking her in on that. But I didn't want to be like, well, the dog's staying here for four days type thing. You know what I mean? I'm with you. I understand. So, And also, it's nice to have a little private time. You know what privacy. I mean? Privacy. A little privacy. Mm -hmm. So uh, my wife takes... Uh, the dog to the beach, so he comes back all saying he's in the water and stuff like that, like in the tide, whatever. You know, he threw his beach. dog shit in the water. What? Threw his dog shit in the no. water. Is he loving the beach? He was having a great time. So the dog came back a mess. We washed the dog in the Airbnb. We gave the dog a bath in the Airbnb, which is like I didn't feel good about because that's like a that's a lot to do. Mm -hmm. The whole place smells like wet dog. He's shaking. We're using their fucking towels to fucking clean it. It definitely changed the vibe of the place for sure, dude. I don't know the last time you smelled like a soaked fucking dog. Dude, we're using like the VO5 to shampoo them and stuff, whatever was in there. You got part plus. It was just like, I'm just saying, I used to Airbnb my place out, and if. I came home and someone had washed their dog in my tub. I would be quite upset. Did they say anything? You get kicked I don't out? No, we left this morning. We didn't get kicked out. I was smoking Bernie's all over the place. Really? Not inside, outside, like a gentleman. That's Jersey. Though. It's fucking shit. North Wildwood, yeah. dude. You get lucky I wasn't on the roof with my shirt off. I'm surprised you didn't, didn't say you had to smoke Bernie's inside. <laughs> Minimum of two packs inside for the weekend. Yeah. That's pretty trashy, man. It's real. That was That was real. I didn't feel good about that. I just, the place, there's dog hair all over there. I don't have, like, cleaning supplies. Were you allowed to have a dog? I was allowed to have a dog, emotional support animal. Ah. Uh -huh, I acted blind the whole weekend. <laughs> 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 Touching the landlord's face. Coming in through the windows? Yeah. Know, what's going on? Um... How the like <laughs> nieces and nephews must have loved. They love the dog. Everybody loves the dog. Although we did take him over, so it's like now I'm the guy. He's a puppy, so you can't leave him alone that much. But now I'm the guy taking him to like the fucking family party and stuff because I'm like, hey, we got to fight. But my answer, everybody was like, fucking bring him. Just tied him up out there. That's back. pretty trashy. I know, but it is showing up with the dog. But it is. It's either that or I don't. I can't fucking go. You know what I mean? We have a couple that does that. Well, we're holidays. not gonna do that. But yeah. they also, all my cousins. When it's a puppy, it's okay. But when you got a fucking. You're showing up with like an eight year old beagle. No. Kick rocks, dude. Th not with even. A foggy I eye. I'm talking. Uh, our one family member rolls in with a. About a 37 year old dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Human lying. Years. Dude, this thing is <laughs> falling apart. Yeah, I don't get that. If it was a car, he'd be totaled. Yeah, I don't I don't get that at all. The, and the it's like the, he, dog. the dog's just like wandering around. It has that. Oh, he smells like hospice, like that <laughs> old dude. I know it. Old dog smell. You know what I mean? You got a fucking bacon wrapped scallop in your mouth. You're ready to fucking throw up. I was with my 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 wife's friend one time. Uh, in New York, and we were going out to like, oh, like, oh, whoever's in town, let's go out to a nice brunch, like a nice brunch down in like the West Village or something. She brought this bulldog that smelled like a bum's nutsack. Dude, you could smell this thing from four tables away. People were audibly gasping. Somebody at eating truffles? What's dude. going on? <laughs> People were audibly gasping at the smell of this thing. And she's like, do you take dogs? And the girl's like, is it emotional support animal? She's like, I got it. And they were like, <laughs> like, trying to eat an Eggs Benny fucking throwing up in my mouth. Yeah, dude. It's bad. Listen. Don't be that guy. I Rolling into the Four Seasons with snots. Oh. <laughs> Bunch of eye boogies on the dog. He's got oh. that black shit under his eye. I love my Buddy, dog. Hit the powder room, will you? Love my dog more than anything in the world. But yeah, when it starts to get to that point, you got to keep him in. We did that with our old dog, Yingling. He got to a certain point. Where it was like he can no longer go out in public. He was like Phil Spector. You just couldn't bring him out. He's in France. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can't be because, dude, his breath 
literally smelled like fucking shit. Yeah, you got to you got to take care of it. That's why we clean them at an Airbnb. Um, As a puppy, that's okay. I know, yeah, of course. But we did take them, and then my na- my cousins all have dogs down the shore. Mm-hmm. Uh, like big fucking, uh, shout out to the big man, shout out to Myers, has two big fucking golden retrievers. Does he? I didn't know that. He's a retriever uh, guy? Uh, lab, sorry, yellow ah. labs. Uh, and they beat the shit out of Hansi. It was pretty good to see. In a good way. Really? They, they were, yeah, they were just like fucking manhandling them. Yeah. Um, but I was a guy like out back all night, like, all right, hey, I'll be out back. It was just like, it was tough. I don't also, like being that guy. No. But you got to do it for a short period of time. You know what I mean? Yeah, you get him in school. He'll be all right. He's a good no, kid. Trying. I imagine Hansi fights dirty. He's throwing, throwing sand in <laughs> Golden Retriever's eyes and shit. Well, he ate a lot of sand and then threw up in the car on the ride home. <laughs> Ugh, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm like, do you, we were just driving home this morning. I'm like, do you smell dog food? And I'm like... <laughs> Turn around. There is just like is it half of North Wildwoods Beach and uh, and a cup of kibble in the back seat. Crab it's running around back there. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of sand crazies in there. Those sand, those, those tiny, no, those tiny little clams. Little, no, oh, little clams. Yeah, I like know, the like little, little sand shells. crabs yeah, when sand you stick crabs. your hands in and they come up and they yeah, play yeah. anything. Those I, things look prehistoric. Oh, I, what are I, they everywhere? Or just in Jersey? I don't know. <laughs> They're not in Hawaii. I know. Things. No, I know people eat them. They call them. Yeah. No, you can't eat those. There's no meat in there. I'm telling you, I know people that eat sand crabs. Mud bugs. Yeah, mud bugs. <laughs> They're my parents. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Your parents are mud bugs. You but you know what up. I don't fuck with at all? What? Even since I was a little kid, I knew to stay as far away from them as I possibly could. And when they were dead, they stunk to high heaven. I'm talking about the horseshoe crab. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I showed my wife one of those for the first time. She was like, what the Dude, fuck? Dude, I'm that? waiting for that thing to jump up and fucking stick to my yeah. face. You ever see a horseshoe crab, T-Bone? No. Oh. It's literally Jurassic Park. It's like a it's like a World War II helmet with a tail. Literally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fucking... I'm not <laughs> fucking around. It's like a German helmet yeah. running around. Oh, these fucking things are the worst. Dude, yeah. get out of here with them things. <laughs> I've never seen one alive. I've never seen one in the do, water. you're in bad shape. <laughs> You don't want to see one of those guys creeping up in your bed. They come in twos. <laughs> One's behind you. Dude, I've only ever seen them dead on the beach. Yeah. And then one day when I was a little kid, my cousin picked one up and held it, and I saw the underside of it, like where like the legs and shit are. I didn't sleep for like two weeks. Mm-hmm. I thought that thing was coming to get me. Yeah, there, there's no bueno. They're shifty, those fucking things. No, I don't think they have mud bugs in Hawaii. Classy operation over there. Yeah. They got mantas, they got hammerheads, tiger sharks, centipedes. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's get into a couple of. Let's cues do some here. cues, guys. As you know, it's a Patreon episode, so when you or it's a, sorry, it's a family episode. So when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. Mm-hmm. That's the best way to do it. We get hit up, we get the emails, we get the DMs. Mm-hmm. But Patreon gets first crack at mm-hmm. it. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. That's just, you know, that's the cool guy hey, club. Money talks. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Hey, I appreciate the follows, but those Patreons are all right. <laughs> the homies Hi-oh. come first. <laughs> um, all right, this one's kind of bonkos. This is from Thomas. Uh, is it garbage to go to a 7-Eleven, mm-hmm. pay for a big gulp? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. You're like, oh, this is, I well, see where he's going with this. I love a big gulp. Well, we got to change that. Fat Court 2. Fat Court Season 2. Um, there will not be a Season 3. Uh, I figured we'd do the movie after that. <laughs> <laughs> Some said he couldn't get fatter. <laughs> like, I'll do it. El Camino. Uh, is it garbage if you go to a 7-Eleven, pay for a big gulp, and fill it up with coffee creamer so that you can keep it in your fridge at home <laughs> instead of buying a full-price container at the grocery store? What's the numbers on that? Prop, what's a, can you it's got to be about much? the same. No, Big Gulp's got to be, what? Big Gulp's 64 ounces. Right. Right? right? And what's a Big Gulp? 219, probably? Okay. You're not getting 64 ounces of cream for fucking two bucks. That 184 is... large Big Gulper. Okay, type in pint of cream is probably three, four bucks. <laughs> pint of cream. Do half and half. Well, you're not putting heavy cream in your you coffee. cream. I don't know. Cream is or half how much and is half. half and half? The internet isn't instantaneous. Say that again. No, it is. <laughs> it proper is. Hold on a second. Say that again. Half and half. Half and half. Say it one more time. Half and half. Okay. I don't Said know. It weird. Said it weird the first time. You're like half and half. <laughs> Get a weirdo. 
Are you a half and half guy? No, I'm nothing. Uh, half and half is a mixture. It's milk and cream. Everybody knows I that. I know. Calm down. I'm trying to look for a fucking price, you bows. Three eighty nine. Re- yeah, okay, but regardless, so you're getting four seventy nine. Two bar, whatever. Yeah, it's called three bucks. But that's for like four oh nine for a sixteen ounce coffee mate. Yeah, four oh nine. Sixteen. Coffee ounce. mate. That's not real cream. Okay, six thirty nine organic valley. Jesus half half. Christ! That organic valley's a ripoff too. So's Horizon. The well, that's red four seventy nine. Yikes. Horizon is. But regardless, you're missing a bigger point. <clears throat> this guy's getting four or five of them mm-hmm. for, for, two for half the price of one. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Sure is. Gang, you got to remember the most important relationship you have. With who? With who? Yourself. What? Yet you got to take care of yourself. I know. I found that all out the hard way. Yeah. Whether it's going to the gym, getting a haircut, take care of yourself. And let me tell you something. If you're having some issues... Get on BetterHelp. They can help. Yes, it's easy. Uh, BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with Look your at therapist. That. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. If you're into that kind of thing, you can do a little peeky peeky. Mm. Uh, it's much more affordable than in-person therapy. You can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours, which is the big thing. If you're trying to get into therapy, it's very hard to find somebody new. You call. They put you, hey, come in I two know. and a half weeks, and you get I there. Know. The guy or girl's a bozo. You want to switch it up. I know. This way, 48 hours, you're just in the pool. Then you can tighten it up, figure out a new guy. Give it a try and see why over two million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. And all you garbage listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash garbage. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about all form. All form. All form, all form, all form. Now, listen, we all know about Helix, the greatest mattress company to ever live. Mm-hmm. Guess what? What's that? They're getting out of the bedroom. Where are they going? They're going in the living room. Swoo. Tell you that Keeping right Keeping it now. fresh. Got to. I know. A little role play over there on the all form. I know. Gang, they're getting into the sofa game, and they're absolutely fantastic. We got one sitting in there right here. Kippy brought it in, built the whole thing, put the thing together. Most comfortable couch I ever sat on. Yes, I have passed out in a sugar coma. It's the easiest way you can customize the sofa, but using premium materials at a fraction of the cost of traditional stores. You pick your fabric if you want spill stain, mm-hmm. spill resistant, stain resistant, scratch resistant. Plus, you they pick- can absorb a fart pretty good. I can tell you that. <laughs> It's just our little secret. Uh, you pick the sofa color, color, leg, size, the whole thing, whatever you want. You can do uh, armchair all the way up to an eight-seat sectional. It's the best way to customize and look cool mm-hmm. while doing it. Yeah. Like you said, it took me like, I think the whole thing took me 25 minutes to piece together. Bing, bang, boom. Easy peasy. Uh, if getting a sofa without trying it in store sounds a little risky, I get it. You don't need to worry, though. You get 100 days to decide if you want to keep it. That's more than three months. And if you don't love it, they'll pick it up for you and give you a full refund. There you go. All Form wants to do their part uh, and offer exclusive discounts for teachers, students, military, and first responders. Nice. Look at that. Out there, boots on the ground, taking care of it. All Form also offers finance and flexible payments, so an amazing sofa is never far away. And they offer a forever warranty that is literally forever. To find the perfect sofa, check out allform.com slash garbage. And All Form is offering 20% off all orders for our listeners at allform.com slash garbage. One more time, allform.com slash garbage, 20% off. Do it. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. It's I've pretty never good. heard of that. It's really trash. I, I thought he was going to be like, in your... You fill up whatever, and then I never thought about stealing the creamer. That's next level dirtbag. I've noticed Patty is 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 pilfaging, pillaging uh, our local. She's Wawa. got sticky finger. What'd she take the little creamers? No, that's she, big. Oh, dude, if stealing those, the little creamers. So you if have you got little fridge? creamers in your house, like you're a diner, <laughs> mm-hmm. get the fuck out of here. Yeah, little salt packets. No, she takes straws, cups, napkins. The lids. Patty, what are you doing? He makes good money. Stop stealing from the local grocer. I walked, there was a huge thing of straws. I'm like, what the fuck did you get these? She's like, wow, wow. <laughs> the, the cashier wasn't looking. <laughs> That's crazy. I caught somebody slipping. Uh, Yeah. But I do get that. I mean, that's. That's a lot of coffee, you, though. Are you going right? I guess you're going right back to the house. Yeah, just throw a lid on it. They right. don't fucking know. Man. Put a straw on it, act like you're drinking it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> mm, refreshing. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, it makes sense. Dirtbag move. Very. Very. I mean, imagine if my whole thing. Every is, time you go and pour yourself a cup of coffee, you remind it what a piece of shit. Imagine you if are. you have company over and you got to take a fucking big gulp and be like, how much do you like? You know? Hey, there's no cream in there. Look at the Mountain Dew bottle. It's in there. 
Yikes. Yeah, that ain't. That's not a good thing. How do uh, I afford a place this nice? <laughs> <laughs> I steal my. I save eighty eight dollars a month on half and half. Yeah, forget about Acorn. Just like start stealing half and half. Oh, I've God. said it once. I said it before. Half and half in your cereal is really something else, buddy. Stop even saying that kind of stuff. In the old days, that's all. I know, but the more you say it, the closer it is to reality, all right? <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you kill them off, they'll never happen again. I have some on the card, though. Uh, this one's from Lee. Ever fall off a ladder trying to dunk a basketball? <laughs> I mean, then you're not really dunking a basketball if you're on a ladder. Depends how high you have the camera. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. <laughs> I remember when those adjustable basketballs nets came out. We thought we were fucking well, there Magic was two, Johnson. There was two levels to them. There was one where you had to get the broom and shift it, or there was the crank. My bu- my buddy had the crank. Dude. It was a gorilla. You just went like this, and it would lower it down. Oh, my God. Talk about a couple of slam dunk contests in there. <laughs> Dude, we had the fucking stick. And my and dad- always like the taller kid could do it or uh, whatever. Yeah. My dad did not put the. This was not up to code, as mm-hmm. they say. The one side came down. Was it the in the ground? Side- was what in the ground? Or was it like one of those ones with the sand in it? It was in about a pillbox worth of concrete. <laughs> Is that the one that you still have a pole in your driveway with no net on it? The, the, the pole was supposed to be, I, th- I think I'm going to mention this, the pole was supposed to be removed last summer, which I understood that as they were going to come and dig it up but it's just the pole is just Cut. sliced yeah. at, at the top, right, right at the top. <laughs> Dude, you hit your tire with that. It's over. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'll fucking you know, blow You want to put like it. a plan in there or something. You can't. You can't. It's just fucking hard steel right there. It's like a lightsaber went through it. Slice you up. Plus, that's primetime wasp nest in there. Well, I'm saying if you if you put some soil in the hole. Oh, what? Make a... What? Put a flower in there? Yeah. No, what that hippie shit? What are you talking about? Now we want we want raw pole. Yeah, yeah. I want to pop my tire. Raw like metal, a, like a real man. It makes backing out of the driveway a little more interesting, especially in the snow. They've got those. They got the hook spikes, like an embassy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you ever get caught on them? No, my my a family friend did. We were at a soccer tournament, I think, for my brother and his son. They and had him at the soccer field. And we had parked somewhere. I forget where it was, and he fucking went out the wrong way, and he had, like, a Jag or a Beamer. He had a little bit of cash. Nice. Shout out to Doug. He listens. Dougie. Um, and uh, he drove the wrong. I think he just got twisted around or whatever, wasn't paying attention, and I didn't know. I, that Him doing that when I was six still scares me today. Dude, I'm- but I had to, we had to return the ones at the airport, the rental car. I was like. You guys, this is the right way, right? Yeah. I don't fucking trust them. Those things look like they would slice you open. Oh, yeah. Is that necessary, by the way? The $5 for parking? How are they allowed to do that? To completely Private ruin, property. ruin your car? You're stealing. Spike strips? What's going on here? Throw a flashbang at you. <laughs> <laughs> car gets declined, hit you with some rubber bullets. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that shit's fucked up. Yeah. All right, it's two-hour parking, and if you're late, we will hit you with the oil strip. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to key your car. If you're not back by five, the car's ours. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, um, I hate those things. Patty ran over a... Uh, guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy, curse the whole family. <laughs> what? Don't say that. Um, oh, hold on. I was just talking. We were talking about... Who, I, what? Something superstitious? No, my remember you guys were like, oh, my dad hit a deer one time, my cousin hit a whatever, my mom hit the pretzel guy on the yeah. boulevard. I told her that I told that story. I just saw her this weekend. I'm like, something, something. You remember when you hit the pretzel guy? And she goes, well, he said thank you, and I thought he was like, she's still defending herself 30 years later. <laughs> What's the statute of limitations? Kind of running over she the pretzel was, guy. He was going, get the fuck out. He was on the windshield, dude. <laughs> You have a couple more mustards while but you're up there. But she was still like, I paid him, and then he thought, like, he, I think he pump faked. Bros are kooky. <laughs> My mom ran over the thing in the parking spot, you know, the little concrete, John, which you might do At a grinder front. on or whatever it's called. You know, the little. It's always sandwiches with you? <laughs> <laughs> the, the little concrete thing. Yeah, parking block. Yeah. yeah. She ran over a couple of them. Oh, yeah. Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see the guy that gets up on the light pole? 
<laughs> the, did you ever see that? It was like it was a video going around recently. He's got like a white big Denali or Suburban, and he somehow jumps it up. You know how they have like the light pole in like a in a shopping center, sure, with like the cylinder concrete, like you know, that's like two feet high or whatever. Well, his bumper gets caught on that, so he just starts like rocking it, right? And he falls. He finally gets it, and he's like, yeah, and he puts his thumb up, and then the air bag. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dude, he is out cold. He's ever, like, "Hey, just gotta rev the." Fucking. Have, have you ever taken an airbag? Yeah, you have. Oh yeah. When I, I crashed, the, I fucking wrapped a, my first Lumina around a. The Lumina had airbags. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not a thirty-two. It's an old shopping bag. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> so, blow it up myself. Ah uh, yeah. Have you taken one? No. Oh. I can still smell it. I can still see smell it. it. Yeah. What's it smell like? It was like an explosion. The new ones are like air or something. This was like a flash. This was a proper flashbang. <laughs> Felt like a ninja was in the car. <laughs> They've changed from what they, what I had. Mine blew up. Like I had like fucking soot on my face and stuff. It blows up out of the fucking... Out of, out of the steering wheel. Wait, soot? I don't understand. There was an explosion. It uses either nitrogen or ergon gas, which that now? does not sound safe. Now, no. What were, what were in old ones? Like in ninety five. This is what they. This is what they. They still use the same shit. Okay. Yeah. It, uh, after deployment, a smoke like residue will be present in the air. Yeah. Jesus. Most of this residue is talcum powder that is used to lubricate to help the airbag. <laughs> You're just getting LeBron James <laughs> after talcum okay. powder. What the fucking f- crash. What is that gold bond? What are we doing here? Yikes. Yeah, it's scary. I've seen people, uh, you know, hours or, or a couple of days after that's happened to them, and their faces, like, look at have sunburn. Their face is, like, all fucked up. Yeah, dude, it's like someone lighting off fucking bottle rockets in the car, <laughs> taking a couple of mortars. I've seen some buddies do that. That's a good time. Uh, the bottle rockets. Fireworks in a car. <laughs> Those guys aren't still alive. If they are. They're not employed. <laughs> Too busy living uh, to clock in, dude. That's right, baby. Here for a good time, not a long time. Um, this one's from Kyle. Ever move your TV outside to watch the game? No. We didn't do it. I, rem- I remember my buddy's neighbor redid the back deck. The decks and all, like, where we when we grew up, the deck was just like a wooden deck. Mm-hmm. And these people, put it, what, what I, no, I know now probably 50 grand into this fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Had the archways, had the ceiling mm. fans outside. Really? Yeah, not my buddy, my buddy's neighbor. And we would just sit on his shitty deck smoking cigs like one day, you know what I mean? The flat deck is a tough one. That's what I'm saying, just a flat deck with tough the three one. stairs up. Yeah. It's not stained. There's no. moth, there's bees nest everywhere. <laughs> nah, it's no good. Um, there was moss all over that thing. But they had TVs outside. That You can do it classy. You can do TVs outside classy. We do it pretty good, I think. We have the uh, the Bernie room or the sun room in the backyard. You open all those up. And then in the, in the summer, we take the TV from what was my room and bring it downstairs and we, we, we put it on the wall down there. It's hung? Yeah, it's hung. That's a, you hesitated on, yeah, it's hung. It's hung. But it, what a hanger! What's going on? It don't. Is there a bracket on the wall right now? There's a bracket on the wall right now going into the house. What are you, you're not giving me something. You know you're 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 hiding something, and you know you are. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything. I thought the fact that we take it from upstairs and the it, it, it winters in my room and summers downstairs. That's what and then I'm when right. I stay there in the fucking summer, I got no TV. Like a jerk off. Probably don't sleep in a Bernie room. <laughs> Have one. Right before you go to bed. I can't sleep. I get too scared. I get scared of two things. I get scared of those water bugs that have those little pinchers on them because they have that wicker uh, furniture down there that has the little cushions, and that's where those got, that's where those things live. They get underneath those cushions, and they crawl up on you while you're sleeping and bite you, plus somebody coming to get me. It's a room full of glass. I can't do that. Who's coming to get you? I don't know. That's the whole point. You're in the backyard alone. Are they stealing start. you? Are they killing you? What's in this in this narrative? What's happening? I was imagining it being a little sexual. <laughs> you know, like a sexual encounter. It's no, I don't know. They kill you. They kidnap you. My biggest fear. Who's kidnapping you? I don't know. You're not going easy. My, I, I'm not scared of getting 
attacked or anything like that. I'm scared of the I'm I'm afraid of the fear. So my fear, the, my biggest fear would be seeing somebody's face in the window or an alien face is really what would scare me. Seeing an alien looking in. Sure, but I'm saying if the aliens are outside your house, mm-hmm. regardless if you're in the, the Bernie room or the fucking bedroom, you're pretty hemmed up. Yeah, they get you. You're not getting it. That way you can at least you're already out. You, you know wouldn't what I mean? remember it either. What? You wouldn't remember it either. You're yeah, not going to let you remember. You're fucking neuralize you. Yeah, you wake up with a weird little spot Keep on Keep it you. moving. Get nervous when the syrup spills. Yikes. What was that movie? Contact? That's a deep cut. That thing scared the shit Fire out of me. Fire in the sky. Fire in the sky. True story, too. So they say. Yeah, okay. I don't know. A lot of evidence out I, there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either, but I remember I saw that way too young mm-hmm. to the point where it ruined a couple of sleepovers. Yeah, when he Roll wakes up Kipper. in that sandwich bag on the ship and he's fucking trying to get oh, out. I can f- oh, no. move in that pod. Mm-mm. No, thank you. Fuck. That. I don't like it. Um, all right, let's see here. This is from Mikey Whispers. If that's your <laughs> if that's your real name, that's a fucking home run. Shout out to Mikey Whispers. Mikey Whispers. He, he, he's got a info on a nice little bag he can get. You eat your chicken nuggets with honey. I have. I have. Somewhere used to do that, I think, in the 90s. They used to give you a side of honey. I will tell you exactly where that was. It was a fine corporation started by the McDonald's brothers in San Bernardino, California, and hijacked by Mr. Ray Kroc and built they used in to, give to the greatest a- restaurant ever. McDonald's. They used to give you honey? When the McNugget first dropped, first came out, Yeah, that was the original sauce, was the honey. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about some casual dining establishment, not fast food. They all probably bit. Everybody rips off McDonald's. Okay. I'm, what are you, their fucking attorney? Possibly. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm saying somewhere you used to you used to sit down and st- talk about the survivor of an abusive relationship. I know that was insane. They all rip them off. All right. Well, how about for comedy purposes, you play along? You shut up, Toby. <laughs> Besperch the good name of the McDonald's. Never hurt anybody. And who are you? Whose side are you on, Croc or the McDonald's brothers? Because if you, if you're not on the side of Croc, you should hate McDonald's. No, I'm on the side of Croc. So you're a thieving. They took a handshake deal. What are they nuts? So you're a thief. I think that's been well established. <laughs> you got my wallet. <laughs> all right. We got an all time Google search going over here, boys. What do you got? I typed in who serves nuggets with honey is what I'm going to get to. The comments are going to tell the, us in two seconds. The, the, the autofill is in the morning. Which, <laughs> who's hemmed up that? That many I people have a couple been. of nuggies. You know what I ate the other morning for breakfast down the shore? Wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. You're never going to get chicken cheesesteak. No. Chinese food. No. <laughs> Chinese food cheesesteak, which wouldn't be bad. No, it was more of a snack. Uh, Oreos. No. Cheez Its. No. What, Goldfish. I mean, what has this show turned into? <laughs> Just let me tell you. How about that? <laughs> Pickles. No. Peanut butter filled hers pretzel bites. With a Diet Coke. Nothing wrong. Talk about getting your head on straight. Man, talk about not knowing when to say stop. Mm-hmm. Those things just, they. I, dude, I even put them back and then went and got oh, them back yeah. off the top of the fridge. I don't know what it is. They were all right. It's Listen, here's the thing. It's not just a combination of the pretzel and the peanut butter. There's air in there. Yes. And it's you, needed. you can like crack them open like a, like, like a muscle. And then you have the peanut butter in there. It's something, it's just really, how they did it, it's really good. God. All right. 100%. I agree. <laughs> Thanks, Toby. Okay, but he the, just wants to move on. you guys switch seats real quick? <laughs> the, the, the top results for who serves nuggets with honey is Kim Kardashian West, oh. <laughs> which is not the answer we were looking for. No, not at all. That makes me like her a little bit more, I'll say <laughs> that, because it's a delicious combo. I get it, yeah. Fantastic. Um. Hmm. I don't. I, I guess they still do it. That sweet and sour sauce is too good, though, to walk away from. Well, you got a big guy. Okay, let's talk about Athletic Greens. AG1. AG1, Athletic Greens. I take it. I can tell you why I started taking it, because I'm a big old fat piece of shit. I've been hey. struggling with my weight. I've uh-huh. been struggling with keeping up my workouts and my nutrition. Of and I'm course. telling you, Athletic Greens makes it that much easier. I bring it to the gym with me. It powers me through my workout. It's great for you your feel gut good. health. 
Great for your immunity. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't want fucking XKB or whatever this COVID light they got throwing around now. You don't want that getting at you. Take your athletic greens. It's the best multivitamin that you're ever going to have. Yeah. Tastes great. It's fantastic. It's like a super duper multivitamin. It's got 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. Minerals? Whatever they may not, whatever they may or may not be. Like I've always said, it's lifestyle friendly. If you're keto, paleo, vegan, dairy free, gluten free, they got you covered. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, no artificial anything, and it still tastes good. Mm-hmm. Uh, all you have to do is uh, one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills. Counting out, hey, did I take the big guy with this? You know, no, no horse tranquilizers, nothing. Take the AG one. Put it in there, shake it up. You know. I, I, why am I telling you? You know. I don't know why you're telling me. Uh, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance today. Do it. Do it. All right, let's see here. This is from Mark. First time, long time. Are you garbage if you leave airline tags on your bag so people know you got airline money? <laughs> Which I kind of do. You know, I'm walking the, around and be like, yeah, I was on a plane one time. The originator of that, the ski tag. Ski lift. Yeah. Oh, the ski lift pass on your jacket. I went skiing once. I left that fucking thing on there until I was out of college. Yeah. 100%. For sure. You keep a couple on there. Oh, dude. The one thing, too, you used to be cool to do was you kept the same, what are they called? Trees, I think they're called. Like the little wire. I think they're called trees. Okay. Whatever they're called. They have not they have like a weird name. That's why it's sticking in my head. You put that on, then you fold the thing over. Mm-hmm. And then the next time you go, because you obviously you kept it on, mm-hmm. you, know, you go over it, but not all the way. So like you, at the top of it, you could see like I was at Camelback, and then you put it right under that. I was at Big Boulder. I was at whatever. Gotcha. At, that was a real, that was like a real, Do you have anybody hey, walk- I don't want to show off, but I'm also showing off. Did you have anybody walking around? We had people walking around high school with those things on. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was on your jacket. I mean, also, you, know, you had one jacket, you know. True. We were in a multiple, we were in a multiple jacket household. Mine was a, it was a CB windbreaker. Do you remember CB? Is that two? So. Do you remember OP or no? OPP. Ocean, no. Yeah, Ocean, Ocean Pacific, yeah. You do remember that? Yeah, was it yeah. cool when you were a kid? No. Really? Uh-uh. It was I think real I had a hot. Burton, I had a snowboarding jacket. I think it was a Burton or so. Mm, Burton's nice. Burton was all right. Yeah. I used to, Denise used to do it all right. Did she? With, this, with the gear, yeah. <sighs> Patty was terrible. Be out there in a lacrosse helmet. Fucking <laughs> 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 catching snowballs on the lift. Stunk. Mm. Um... Yeah, but that's a big one. Show you got airline money. That's good. That is good. I, I've said, too, I always feel real confident when I'm walking off a plane. I feel real important. You know what I mean? Even though I'm going to stop at, like, the Cinnabon or whatever. I'm like, all right, got to get, you know, out of my way. I think I'm better than everybody, even though everybody's flying. They can see me. I still feel like I'm better than everybody. My legs just feel weak when I get off a plane. <laughs> I don't tell them I was in fucking 52B. <laughs> I get scared, but I always take it off. Because I don't want anybody knowing where I've been or where I was. And plus, I make sure. Also, we didn't talk about the amount of luggage you brought to California. Oh, my God. In the world's largest pink suitcase. You got to look your best out in Hollywood. You wore one shirt every day. I've done, I, what was in there? Bowling balls? First of all, it weighed. All right, hold on. Let's back this up. No, we, we, every time we travel, we check gear. Can I have this? No. Get off of that. <laughs> you have two drinks. Two drink rule. This is empty. Damn. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Two drinks. Can't be. Look at this. Do as I say, not as I do, huh? Hey, let's. All right. You're right. I'll follow the goddamn rules. There you go. Now, um, what were you saying? I was making fun of you, if I recall. <laughs> Toby, can we run it back? <laughs> no. So every time we travel, we take just, everybody takes a carry-on bag, and then we have to check, uh, at least one bag of gear, the tripod, some cameras, some merch and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes two. Plus some other things in there. Sometimes two. We check two bags if we're recording podcasts on the road and we need the, we need the whole setup. Uh, so we're going to California. We needed the whole setup to record pods. Uh, so we packed two bags, two carry-on bags. Foley texted me the night before, can I check a bag? I'm like, you own one pair of underwear and two T-shirts. Sure, you can check a bag. Two pair of underwear. 
three t-shirts. He then gets there. His bag, to, first of all, it is the world. It's like the size of a mini fridge, this thing. <laughs> you come walking out with a pink college boy with a handle on it. <laughs> it's huge. I had gone. And it weighed more than the tripods, the merch. It weighed, it was overweight. It was 53 I had pounds. that jean jacket in there. <laughs> that, dude, that thing is heavy. <laughs> That's like a flak jacket. Dude, you jump into the water with that thing, you're going oh, straight to yeah, the bottom. You stand a chance. No. Well, here's the thing. I wanted to look my, I, I, I went into California with the best intentions, ladies and gentlemen. Please be aware of that. And your aunt's suitcase. <laughs> yeah. That's your, that's your girls, right? Yeah. Yeah, man, that thing. Stinks. I also lifted a Ted Baker bag from her too that I'm never giving up. Little leather fucking backpack. Oh Woo! yeah, things. That's nice. real. That looks like what's her name? Yeah, that's like what she wore in Clueless. That thing. That's like a real fucking hoity-toity rich girl in the '90s bag. I have that, and I have my CPAP briefcase. Yeah, you look real official. Or as I call you. it, as I call it, the football. <laughs> <laughs> Walking through the airport in dirty basketball shorts. I had I had, I had gone to DXL that weekend because I wanted to look nice. I didn't want to embarrass you out there. No, thanks for not <laughs> trying to embarrass me, which you did on multiple occurrences. Didn't work out. Um, <clears throat> what? I so I went. I, I dropped a couple. Go ahead. Of, dropped a couple of bucks. <laughs> I dropped. I, I dropped a couple of bucks on some clothing. What clothing? I didn't see any of this. You saw the pink T-shirt that I wore at one Hoya. T-shirt. There was a couple other ones. But where? Why didn't they show up? I don't know. I got, in every show. Well, I got flustered when we got thrown out of the Airbnb. <laughs> every people were commenting. Did Foley take out more than two shirts to California? And I'm like, I don't know. He did check 53 pounds of luggage. <laughs> Dude, I made the edit of the travel. And there's a whole section in the beginning. It's like us in a car, us outside the airport. It's all different days. Us on a spaceship. It's all it's all him in the same shirt. But it's just fully in the same shirt. So it cut together seamlessly. Yeah. Man, these guys are really working. Now that that shirt's working overtime. Man, you stink with a capital S. I brought out at least nine by, shirts. No, you did not. Yes, dude. I did. That's impossible. I'll take a. Um, um, I didn't. I haven't unpacked yet. Oh, classy so, guy. That I'll was take, two weeks ago. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take a photograph of my of my luggage, unless the kitty cat's sleeping in it because she likes to snuggle in there next to daddy's stuff. Anywho, cut that. <laughs> I brought two Tommy Bahama shirts. I bought nine T-shirts, ten pairs of underwear, ten pairs of socks. Basketball shorts, two workout pants. How my, did, that, how, did they get how? Were they? I said best intentions. My jean jacket. I brought the steamer. Well, why didn't any of the t-shirts make an appearance? They did. I wore multiple different t-shirts. I you did got anything on that. It I was wore, the, it was I, the blue Hawaiian one and the pink one. And then I wore something else to the. Uh, to, um, okay, now we know you're lying. <laughs> In San, you hear Fran. that, ladies and gentlemen. In San Fran, well, you I had the you had the blue one with the. I had a I had a blue one and a green one. I wore the green one the first night, the blue one the next. Then I had the ranch shirt. You wearing reversible T-shirts? The ranch shirt. Yeah, that's not good to have clothes named after condiments, but it's the shirt. It's, it's the Hawaiian shirt that I got ranch on that night. <laughs> I'm supposed to know that as the ranch shirt. It's not like when fucking JFK got assassinated. <laughs> Where were you when Foley was wearing a rain shirt? Yeah, so I had I had, I brought the steamer for everybody. Um, I brought. I the, also I also brought all of these things, and I was I was in a car. I was in a my clothes on. are bigger. <laughs> you see no shirts? Oh, They're Dude, huge. You asked me to hand you that jacket one time, and like it was one of those things where you like it was like out of a bad movie where you don't realize how heavy something is. Like, if I can pull my back out, my my jean jacket probably weighs ten pounds. <laughs> Um. All right. This is from Donnie. Do you have a relative that lost any fingers or finger a finger or fingers at work? Yeah, my grandfather. Really <laughs> mushed one of them. Ooh. And straight flat the rest of his life too. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> he was a banker. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? Textiles, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. I got caught in some machine, just <laughs> mashed it. Man, that happened a lot of people. Oh, back in the day, you just crush an elbow, lose Ooh. an arm from the fucking elbow down. That was that was like wood shop. Do they? Still, I don't think they still do wood shop. Do I they? don't know. They've I, had to get rid of that. 
I had I had wood and metal shop. I had a, I had a kid lose his finger, lost his fucking pointer finger, clean off. We called him Stubbs, not related. <laughs> his last name was Stubblewitz. <laughs> <laughs> Stubby Stubblewitz. Yeah, no, he lost it, and then a kid picked it up, picked up the thing with his finger with a pencil, and when like had it. <laughs> Was well, like, like chasing everybody. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, <laughs> unlocking his iPhone and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are ruthless. <laughs> oh, I wasn't doing. I thought you were gonna say you'd put it on ice, try to get him to the emergency room quick. No. Also, do you ever have anybody lose a tooth and then be like, put it in milk and go to the dentist's office real quick? That was a big thing. Put it in milk. Yeah, I had a kid curb stomp himself, but like he tripped. He was rollerblading and went down and <laughs> all right on like the corner of a curb, busted his shit wide open, lost like. Three or four of his teeth in the front. Oof. And someone's like, put him in milk. So somebody threw him in a fucking a big gulp of creamer and we hit the <laughs> fucking brick. I was going to say, you got to talk to our guy. <laughs> Shout out to Tom. That doesn't work. You can't put teeth back in. No, I think you can. No. I no, think... you just couldn't afford it. <laughs> yeah. You can't put teeth back in your mouth. You can, dude. No. I'm telling you. No way. That's crazy. T-Bone, give me some eyes and ears on that. He's 100% right, dude. Me? Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not making this story up. No, but I... Well, I'm, I'm saying, why would I make... Why, where would that fact come it's from? It's a wives' tale. So these old broads, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're all drunk. They don't know what they're saying. a little specific. <laughs> <laughs> Might be talking about some relatives. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the tooth must stay moist at all times, either in your mouth or it can be, repla- uh, or it can be replaced in the socket. Gross. Put in milk... In your mouth, or in your mouth next to your cheek, or an emergency oh, you keep tooth. Keep it in your mouth. Uh, That'd be wild. Showing up to the doctor. Yeah, what can I do for you? <laughs> Start spitting them out. They're they're falling out like quarters. <laughs> you got molars in your teeth like it's Kodiak. <laughs> Why'd you use chocolate milk? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> my dad, my dad's arm is shorter than one arm shorter than the other. Growth plate. No, he got hit by a car when he was a kid. Okay. Milk truck ran him over, believe it or not. Hey, listen. What? Wait. How did? Well, yeah, so we had a. Something had to happen. He had a cr- crush. He got a run over point. by a truck. Okay. And one arm shorter than the other. Right, but that's not, a, that's not a medical diagnosis. I got hit by a truck. I don't what, know. You know they I'm said, asking what happened. I, I wasn't there. I don't know. When he set his shoulder, did I guess. Did they take two inches or it just didn't fucking grow longer? Yeah, something like that. When it's set, it didn't grow right. Okay. All right, I believe you. Yeah. Just I mean, sharing. Yeah, no, I know. Do you think I'm trying to top your milk story? It seems that way. He had to put his arm in milk, I swear. If I had to put his arm in ranch dressing. <laughs> that the- was a personal preference. He could have done barbecue. <laughs> they said any sauce, really. <laughs> any cream-based remoulade would do. Um, Nobody what? with fingers or anything missing. Okay. But I was petrified in wood shop. Somebody, somebody got sliced in there, we too. Made a, we made, like, a cigar box. We could make, like, a box. There's no way they still do that. I would have to assume I that Wood Shop has been canceled. I would assume. For insurance it, purposes. <laughs> they found some old tweets. <laughs> Plus, for learning purposes. He was up for us What are you doing with that? They were just wasting our time. No, I mean, I get it, you know. Do you? I mean, we did home ec. I had to, like, sew a bag and make a fucking bun cake. Yeah, I guess you're right. Teach you how to bounce a checkbook or something, you know. What That's I mean? what they should have done. Man. Meanwhile, I got fucking beakers in my life. Yeah, I don't give a fuck who Franz Ferdinand was. All right, how do I how, how do I get through a grocery store without <laughs> embarrassing myself? Uh, but that stuff uh, that always scared me. The bandsaw because the shit was from like the seventies, and the teacher was fucking checked out. He didn't give a shit. They were on their last legs. Mm-hmm. But we made uh, signs. We made uh, we made a, we made um, like an we were supposed to do like an architectural project where you design a house with like styrofoam. Okay, I think we did that maybe. Yeah, the smart kids that could do that was really cool. Mine sucked. Yeah, I was like, I'm going for a pueblo or something. It was <laughs> yeah. real fucking. Just did a square square hut. Terrible. Speaking of checked out teachers, did either of you ever drink with a teacher after you graduated? I think I told a story where I saw that I would see the guy at Cavanaugh's River Deck down in. Uh, I mean, we were underage. Yeah, you just and told he was that, hanging yeah. out. Yeah, and he'd be like, "What's up?" And I'm oh like, yeah, you yeah. got to get out of here. Uh, but never. 
Never with like a teacher. No, no. I assume you have. Oh, yeah. It's mad awkward. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't even. I don't like that. It's like mixing fucking Mm-mm. work with pleasure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. Fully stop dating. <laughs> <laughs> like keep too, it on the books. Too messy. Tell HR. Um, all right, this one's from Pat. First time, long time. Do you or anyone in your family use the entire stick of butter like a glue stick to butter toast instead of spreading it with a knife? I, That's trash behavior. I like this move, though. But if it's just you... If you lived alone, I feel that's okay. You're talking about you unfold it like a candy bar. And then use it like a pencil. Mm, yeah. That's pretty good. Um, I think mm. if you do, I think I, you, I've been to barbecues where they just have one designated for the corn on the cob. Or you roll it on there. I guess, but I think I saw people like sticking it. Like you used a long way, you know. Now, we have this dish, this like special dish that has little spikes in it that okay, holds the butter just, down and you just roll like it over treadmill. there. Man, I like a corn on the cob, I'll tell you that. A little olive oil and salt and peppers aren't not bad either. Okay. I knew some people that put mayonnaise on there. What do you think about that? Isn't that like the isn't that Mexican corn or something like that? They put some other shit on there something, too. Something, whatever. That's all right. A little That's spice. Yeah. yeah, Mexican corn's fancy. Cheese or something's on there too. Little gojita, little spice, paprika. Don't hate it. Yeah. I don't hate it. I like that. Um, but I don't like the I don't like crumbs on my butter. Yeah, and gotta, I, I keep a clean butter. Yeah, I don't like it getting melted and then looking melted. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Looks like it was. Yeah, looks like, like it was in the war. Hurry hardens. Yeah, Mm-mm. it's no good. Looks like caulk or something. You ever put butter in the microwave? How quick it melts? You got about yeah. three seconds. Yeah, it goes quick. Whew. It's a fantastic product. <laughs> what the microwave or the, the butter? butter. <laughs> Um, this one's just crazy. This is from Jimmy two times. Never had a question. Read ever cauterize a cut with a Bic lighter? That sounds like real like. Yeah. What are you Rambo? That's what the crazy. Fuck? That seems like it would make it worse. Yeah, I don't think that's there's not a very there's a very small parameter of cuts where it's like the lighter's not going to do anything mm-hmm. or the lighter's going to make it worse. Uh, if you if you heated up a piece of metal and then rolled it over that, I can see that. I don't but know. But with a lighter. Jesus. We got this we've gotten this question a lot, to be really? honest with you. Yeah. A lot. Which I don't God damn it's gotta be job site shit. But I mean also at the same time, like I guess if you're like out in the woods or you're not I don't know. That seems more fucking hillbilly to me. <sighs> that I mean, hurt. if you're in New York City and you're cauterizing yourself with a big lighter when there's a hospital or an urgent care, fucking at least a, no more than two blocks away at any time. You're just drunk. Yeah, you're just out for a good time. <laughs> Party. Yeah, that's bananas. Um, This one we were kind of just talking about. First time, long time, Brian, blue balls. Uh, Have you ever gotten food at an airport you landed at? No, but I want to all of the time. All of the time. You do? I want to get out of the airport, get into the city, see what's going on. Yeah, but we never do that. That's what I'm saying. We're always so hard up for time. We usually go to lunch. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like... First of all, we're not in the city to see what's going on. Just eat at the airport. I don't want to, but if I'm hungry, they don't sure. they don't serve you on the fucking flights anymore. The fucking Biscoff cookies ain't cutting it. I wanted to ask uh, you about that. What? Uh, when we flew to France, we were served a nice meal. Mm-hmm. Every time I fly to Hawaii, nice meal. That trip out to the Cali was six hours. Man, that flight seemed like... Where the meal. fuck was the meal? They stopped doing it domestic. Really? That's wild. Mm-hmm. Dude, you fly fucking... You fly to Europe... They they serve you. They're coming around every forty five minutes. Here's the drinks. Here's a coffee. Here's your meal. Here's a snack. Here's a drink again. They were coming around with cups of water on that flight. Not even fucking bottles. I don't mind the cup of water. And they always hit you at the right it's time. Pretty. They got it pretty timed out. I got to give them that. That trash can lid full of cups. You're dying on. for anything, buddy. Though. We're gonna hit turbulence. Put a lid on this goddamn thing. But I'll take it. <laughs> they do. They do get you the good pretzels, time. cookies, and fucking shitty coffee. Yikes. That's yeah. trash. What? That. I don't like that. Not that I... Enjoy, the meals aren't great, but, you, you know, it's dinner time. Everyone's eating. It's got, a distraction. You got the movie it's going. It's a distraction for me. It's like, hey, let me focus on this fucking pasta primavera for 10 minutes so I'm not thinking about my ex... You know, I'm not thinking about my fucking demise at 33,000 feet. <laughs> <laughs> not worried about hearing an engine go or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Start remembering you're in a toothpaste tube, forty thousand feet above the air, thirty five thousand feet above your head, you son of a bitch. Um, Which they were saying they're hard up for pilots these days. 
Very understand. A lot of pilot fatigue. Really? Yeah. A lot of pilot. They want to hire like 20,000 new pilots like in the next couple of months. Yeah, Maybe you can, you can get your wings. Think I could? Yeah. I would never do that. I front. see I get a because I see the here? I see the Instagram videos of them landing the plane and it's not just like it's they're doing like this shit and that yeah, they're landing a plane get the fuck out of here now don't we have computers for that shit it should be able to land itself okay just saying I'll they're like to the guys above going and back and say. forth and all that crap it's scary plus the window's too small that is so weird to me what I'm like, can't we get a fucking bigger window on this fucking goddamn thing. <laughs> Why? Why you look? It's like a snowstorm, and you only scraped off the a little hole so you could see out of. They get out of the plane quick too. Oh, They're yeah. never up there. I always want to say, "Hey, man, thanks." They're long That's gone. What they want to talk to a big fat mouth breather. <laughs> hey, Jim, that fat ass in thirty eight thirty eight C say good job. <laughs> No, I know what you mean. They skedaddle right quick. Sometimes they'll hang around, or like the B squad hangs around. Yeah. Sometimes there's a guy there, you know. I want the captain. Who was on the stick? Mm-hmm. Not looking to talk to the radar guy. <laughs> the, fuck? The, the guy, the guy controlling a radio. Yeah. Hey, buddy, <laughs> fucking put on Drake playlist and keep it moving, will you? I handle the AC. Get out of my face. <laughs> Let me talk bum. to the cowboy, will you? Yeah. Who dropped us in from 20,000 feet over St. Louis? That's what I'm looking for. Uh, all right, let's do one or two more, and then we got a skidaddy. Uh, Mike G, first time, long time. Ever been to a wedding where instead of a flower girl, a friend tosses out the airplane bottles of liquor to the crowd before the bride walks out? Ooh. That is next-level trash. I thought you were going to say the dog comes down the aisle. <clears throat> That's a tough look, too, but I kind of... I If they play s- ball... If the flower girl or the or the ring bearer plays ball and they're good, it's okay. But sometimes you get these bozo kids that they're crying, they're wandering around, they're spilling the flowers. Yeah, I'm putting on a show here. Let's go. Oh, we're we, for this. Where are we doing the wedding? We got the whole infield of the Daytona 500. Oh, that'd be a good time. It would be good. Why the race is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Everybody's got the headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're landing a plane. That's Anyone? pretty true. Object. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Junior into the corner. <laughs> it's a. Uh, That's pretty trashy. What? The airplane bottles of liquor at a wedding. What do you think? Yeah. That's tough. It's like the thing with trash is like we're all trash, obviously, but you got to try a little. Ho- like you don't need that. Mm-mm. That's just like we're being trashy just to be trashy. You know what I mean? Can I ask you this? Buddy, I'm right here. As a friend? Sure. Um, if you guys ever decided that you would have kids, mm-hmm. would you do one of those bozo gender reveals? No. no. Not, not, no, you don't have to film it. Well, then why am I doing it? If, Toby, <laughs> if T-Bone's not there, I'm not fucking, I'm not wasting the man hours. <laughs> this is content. You would never do one of those? No, I think I would want to know. Just fucking tell me. Have the fucking, you know. Those the, things are The guy real with garbage. the magnifying glass. They've whatever. led the forest fires, people getting hurt. Oh, yeah. This, that, nobody wants to be there. Because when I you look at other, other people in the video, they're like, ah, all right. The guy hits the wrong one, does this, does that. That shit's real trash. It's also like nobody gives a fuck. Nobody Unless gives it's like a the fuck. the mom, the aunt, whatever. Like, close, but like. The fucking brother-in-law don't care. Uh, that's a bad look. Don't do that. If you're out there, stop fucking doing that. Or if you do it to a small circle with, the, with your loved ones, don't film it and put it on fucking Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, also, what do I know? Not much. Not much. Um, all right, let's do two more, then we'll skedaddle. Pete Robinson, first time, long time. Went at the beach as a kid. Did you ever dig a hole to China? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Never Fuck got yeah. there, but I tried. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plus, I was, the, I was too scared of the water. Won't you hit the water? No, I was too scared of the water to go in there by myself as a little kid. Oh, to go in the water by yourself. So my so dad you... had to dig me a fucking a oh, little. You were a hole kid? <laughs> yeah. Yikes. I was in the hole. Whoa. Yeah. Like fragile Freddie Merman <laughs> <laughs> in the woods, sitting in the dirt. Yeah, sitting in a fucking, fucking peeing myself, sitting in a hot fucking puddle. Oh, Yeah. Man. I was a big puddle kid. Yeah, I, but you don't say. I, I played in a lot of puddles. All right. I like a good puddle. Like a good like baseball field puddle, not bad. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I uh, we yeah of course you know you would try that you would think you know 
I don't know if I, I was ever really on target to hit it. I don't know, where, you know, where I would have ended up if I got deep enough. Uh, it, just, was, it would just fill up with water. It's because it, the beach, the water's underneath there. Yeah, Magellan, I know. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know how deep you went. What? That's why you can't build on sand. This is water. Sure. We're learning. Man, you're really pulling out all the stops today. Um... I don't know if I ever said this, but my one, co- I think I might have, my one cousin, I was at the beach with them, and they would wait for everybody to leave and take their holes. So, like, if we were sitting here, right, me and you were together. Uh-huh. And, you know, T-Bone's over there. Digging a hole. Digging a big hole, him and his dad or whatever. When t at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, whenever the beach starts letting off, T-Bone and his dad leave. Me and you pick up our chairs, our blankets, our towels, our toys, and go over there and steal this hole. It's, you start digging more, just playing just in the hole. Just play in a hole, but like relocate the whole family. And then wow. like when a bigger one opens up 20 feet away, you go after that one. You send it out scouts? I felt like a poacher, dude. It didn't feel and right. We got a four footer down by the half I'm place. like, we didn't fucking earn this, first of all, all right? <laughs> It was real weird. That was a fun time, though. That's a fun time. And also, uh, it was big in the Foley house in the winter after the snowplow came through and made a little mountain. Oh, you think I did glow in there? Ooh, man. There was a lot of G.I. Joe special operations going on in that fucking mountain. Yeah, I can tell you that. touching your wee wee. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Well, we got to wrap it up here. Gang, listen, we, we fucking love, love you to death. Thank you for everything. Come out and see a live show. Mm-hmm. We're having a good time out there, and we will see you next week. Peace. Peace.